Hi everyone, and welcome back to this series on vibe coding with Cursor. In this video, we're going to walk through some important settings that will help you get the most out of Cursor. You'll learn how to manage your privacy, enable codebase indexing, and configure the editor so it works with you and not against you as you build. By default, your code remains on your device. Nothing is shared with AI models unless you specifically ask for assistance or enable certain features. This is relevant if you're working on personal or sensitive projects. You can also customize how much of your code is shared with the AI by adjusting your privacy settings. There's also an option to mask sensitive values like API keys before they are sent in prompts. We'll cover these techniques later. This gives you full control over what gets shared when interacting with the AI. To help Cursor understand your project structure, you can enable codebase indexing. This feature lets the AI scan your code and build a map of your project. When enabled, the AI can provide more context-aware responses, like finding where a function is defined, understanding connections between files, or navigating larger projects. Here's how it works. When you open a blank project, Cursor will automatically start indexing your code base as you build. When you ask questions or generate code, Cursor uses this index to give more accurate and relevant answers based on your specific project. You can view the index files in Cursor settings under Features and Codebase Indexing. In addition to understanding your code, Cursor can index documentation files, like readme files, API references, or third-party documentation online, so that the AI can use that information when responding to your questions or generating code. Here's how it works. When you add documentation files to your project, Cursor can scan and index them just like it does with your code. These index documents becomes part of the context that the AI can use when generating answers. You can reference them explicitly by using the at docs symbol in your prompt. Auto mode or YOLO mode or vibe coding mode as we like to call it, is a powerful feature in Cursor that automates development tasks, like setting up projects, running scripts, installing dependencies and more with minimal manual input. It's especially useful when you want to move fast and let the AI handle the setup and boilerplate work. Here are some examples of what auto mode can do. Detect and install project dependencies. Launch your app by running common start commands. There are a few things to keep in mind. Auto mode is part of Cursor's move towards more automated vibe code driven development, helping you focus on core logic while it handles the setup and grunt work. For established code bases and more advanced development cases, I would probably recommend turning off auto mode to be fully in control of what's going on. But since we're building from scratch with the help of AI, we don't really need to worry too much about existing code and therefore we can use auto mode. Cursor rules are instructions that guide how the AI gives suggestions, explanations, and generate code for your project. Think of them as guides that tailor the AI to your personal preferences and project-specific setup. In Cursor, we have two main ways to customize the behavior of the AI using Cursor rules. The first and more advanced option is project rules. These are specific rules for a given project. They're stored in your project directory and are automatically included every time you engage with the AI assistant in the project that you're working on. The great thing about project-specific rules is that they can be customized to your project's specific needs and even specific parts of your project or specific jobs that we want the AI to do for us. The second option is the user rule. These work across all your projects. These are more akin to your user preferences and are applied to all AI chats across projects. The user rule is great for beginners that want to learn as they build, by, for example, asking the AI to explain everything it does in an easy to understand way, or always include learning resources and documentation when relevant, 
or simply asking the AI to speak your native language like English, Spanish, or Norwegian in my case. Now let's create our very first cursor rule. Let's start by creating a user rule suitable for beginners. First, open your project in cursor, then navigate to cursor settings and click on rules. In the rules section, you can simply start typing your preferences in the text box below user rule. Let's start with something simple, like I'm a beginner with no prior knowledge of coding. Please use an easy to understand language in our interactions and explain what you're doing step by step. Now let's give it a try to see how the AI assistant responds. I have a simple to-do list project that I will use as an example to show you how the AI will respond after we've updated the user rule. Let's ask the AI, I want to add a tag feature to my to-do list app. Can you help me? And see how it will guide me through the steps with the new user rule applied. As you can see, the AI assistant explains the steps involved and also provides us a summary with easy to understand explanations for each step. This simple user rule is great for beginners who want to learn about coding as they build. Now let's try adding a project specific rule in Cursor. The use cases for project rules are endless, but let's look at some relevant examples for beginners. You'll find the project specific rules under settings and project rules. Simply click the button add new rule and give it a name, for example, project rule one. Hit enter and you'll be presented with a blank document where you can specify your project specific rules. When you do this, Cursor also creates a dedicated folder for your Cursor rules in the file explorer on the left hand side. You can easily edit these later. Now let's paste in an example of a Cursor rule for beginners who want to build a web app using popular frameworks. In this cursor rule, we're essentially telling the AI what programming languages to use and what methods to use for styling the look and feel of the app. The cursor rule is also instructing the AI assistant to use best practices when implementing the frameworks used. If you are a beginner, you can use AI to generate cursor rules based on your needs. Let me show you how. Let's say the only thing you know for now is that you want to build a simple to-do app to start learning. Go to ChatGPT or any other AI chat and type in your starting point. For example, I want to build a to-do web app. I have no prior knowledge of coding and I'm just starting out. Can you help me write a cursor project rule that specifies the frameworks, best practices and approach that will help me? This prompt will give you a starting point that you can use as your first cursor file. Another option is to find popular cursor files in the official cursor rule directory. Go to cursor.directory and click on popular to find the cursor rule that fits your project and simply click copy. Now go back to your project and paste in the cursor rule file. And that's it. You now understand the basics of cursor rules and how they can help you get better, more consistent results from the AI assistant in cursor. Thanks for watching Build with Grit and I'll see you in the next one.